Hello and welcome to Excel Nana. In this video, I will show you how to create gauge chart or we can call it speedometer. But it needs many steps to create in Microsoft Excel. So today I will show you how to easily create in Google Sheets. At first, you have to create Google Sheet and because it is Google, it will be easy if you use Chrome. So if you use Chrome, you can check here, show application and it may show Google Sheet here. Or if you cannot find, you may try to input directly in the address bar by uh, Google Sheet. So you can see the Google Sheet, maybe this one, free online spreadsheet. Okay, and then go to Google Sheet. If you don't have Google account, you may need to register your account. In this case, I already have my Gmail account and I can select this one, a blank spreadsheet. Here, after I have spreadsheet, I may add some data, like uh, I need to show my uh, performance, which my performance may be 80%. Okay, and then I will insert the chart. This one, insert chart. And then I will change the chart type here, here in the author category, and you have the gear chart like this. Yes, it's already finished. It's very easy. But uh, if you would like to modify something like the, the scale, the minimum, maximum, you can edit here. Okay, so I will introduce you about the option of this chart. At first, about the setup group. Here is, is the chart type is get chart. The data length is here, A1 and B1. The label label is A1 here or you can change if you would like to change you can edit or modify it and the value here is B1 next go to the customize option because gear chart is a preset chart in Google so you cannot change everything but you can change something like uh, here in the customize Tab. There is a chart style. You can change the background. That means the background of uh, outside of the gate, not in the gate. Okay, I will undo. And also font. This one I think is uh, do not have effect to anything here. Okay, then we can skip to another option about the gate. Here is the, the very important option. You can change the minimum here, 0 to 100. Uh, you may start from minus 50 or something here, or you can change the maximum to 400, like this. Mm -hmm. And the chart will automatically change depending on the maximum and minimum value. Okay, I will change back to 0 and maximum 100 and next if we would like to show the level of progress like the indicator right is you have the color red yellow and green you can select from this one 
which lens of data to show the red color okay here uh, for the red color I will set to be minimum at zero and maximum maybe 50 then the get chart will show the red color here and next same as uh, in the yellow this one okay maybe I start from 50 continue from the red color and maximum at 20 so it's show like this and the last one is the green color I will continue from here 70 and maximum 100 if you input the number that not list the maximum, it's okay. That's, it should be like this. Alright. But in this case, I will let the green to be 100. Yeah. However, if you don't like the color or you would like to inverse the color, like from red, orange green to be green orange and then less you can change the color by this one so uh, in this case I, I will keep the red but I will change the shade of red not too late okay maybe this one and green okay And the, the last option that you can set is about the chart and exit title. Uh, in this case, no, there is no exit, but there is a chart title. So you can input the title, maybe the my project or something. Here, so it will show here, and you can change the the font type, the the font size, mm -hmm. but in this case I don't need it, so I remove it. Okay, just this you can get a nice get chart easily by Google Sheet. Then from here I can copy it. So no, uh, copy here. We can tie the Control C. Select this one and type Control C from your keyboard, and I go to the PowerPoint. I just paste here. So I already get the gear chart to show in my PowerPoint, and I need one thing to do. I don't like this number; it's too small. But we can change it in Google Sheet. So in this case, I will change it here. By I will add a rectangle with the loud corner here to show the number 80. And then I will change the color, change the fill. I will use the eye drop because it's not white. You can see the background of the ch the gate is not white, so I will use eye drop to copy the color here, so it be the same color, and I will change the color of the the my number. In this case, is is uh, in the gain zone, so I select the gain uh, the green color bow and make it big maybe uh, 80 or bigger 100 like this and I change something I put it over the, or the, the original picture and okay remove the outline
if I want a bigger number, in this case you can see the background of the gear chart. So uh, I will have to change something. Okay, I select this one, change the format shape, select the text option. And here, tick box. Okay, I will change the uh, margin. I will change all the margin to be zero. And no need to lap tape. And okay, do not auto fit here. So I can change the size. Change this option. Okay. I can make it bigger. Yeah. Or bigger. 140. Yeah, like this. Okay, now so you can get the get chart easily create in Google Sheet and copy and modify on your PowerPoint. That's it. Okay, thank you for watching.